Hi everyone! In my hands are the upcoming Navy Switches by AE Boards. AE Boards are the folks behind the Aegis and Extend 65 keyboard along with the upcoming Constellation 65% board. I also have their UHM WPE Tactile Stem or Ultra High Molecular Weight Polyethylene. I'll be calling it PE for short. I'll first go over some information about the switches and stems, go over the pole lengths, conduct some sound tests for you, and then talk about my impressions and compare them against other tactile switches. The Navy switches will only be sold in packs of 110 or $71.50 or $0.65 cents a switch. The switches will come with a palm stem, which is the standard material used for other switches. However, you can also buy packs of 140 PE stems for $30. What makes PE special is its extremely low friction coefficient, which makes it really smooth. You can really feel the difference when you feel the two stems in your hand. With the PE stem, it almost feels like my fingers are slipping away. The goal of the Navy switches is to be an affordable and good stock tactile switch. The stem is made from original mold owned by AE boards and the housing is very similar to a panda switch. In case you didn't know, Holy Pandas, the well-renowned tactile switch, was originally made by combining two different switches together, the housing from a yoke panda switch and the stem from a Halo True or Halo Clear switch. However, the Navy Switch isn't looking to be a holy pen competitor. It was designed for a tactile feeling very similar to Cherry MX Clears, but with an extended pole. The extended pole causes the switch to bottom out earlier and for the tactile bump to start higher. With PE stems, however, due to material shrinkage, they are shorter than the stock Navy Palm stem, but they're still longer than a standard stem length. Speaking of which, let's go over the sizes now. I measured out 5 palm stems from the navy switches and got an average length of about 13.95 millimeters. I also measured out 5 PE stems and got an average length of 13.35 millimeters. I measured out 1 halo clear stem from my holy panda, 1 T1 stem, and 1 MX clear stem and got 13.69 millimeters, 12.49 millimeters, and 12.51 millimeters. From this, we can see that the palm stem of the navy switches are even longer than the halo stems and holy pandas, and holy panda signature sound comes from extended pole. The PE stems are shorter than the palm stem and the halo stem, but are still longer than a standard stem such as the T1 and MS Clears. Next, let's run the sound test. The test keyboard is a hot swap polycarbonate Think 6.5 with an integrated 4.5mm polycarbonate plate. I'll first show you stock navy switches versus stock navy switches with the palm stem, then throw in holy pandas, T1s, and MS clears into the mix, then show you what the navy switches sound like when lubed. Note that the T1s used in the tests are from when they were originally made with clear housing, which you can't get anymore, so it might sound different from the T1s that you can buy today.
So, how do these switches feel? Since the description states that the Navy switches have an MX clear like bump, it's no surprise that they feel like MX clears. With the Panda derived housing, however, the tactile feeling is a bit stronger on the Navy versus the MX clears. The stock Navy switch has a stronger tactile feeling than the Gatoron Brown or Cherry Brown, but not as strong as a T1 or Holy Panda. The Navy switch's tactile feeling is rounder, while a T1 and Holy Panda has a sharper tactile feeling. With the PE stems, the stock Navy switch was much smoother, but the tactile bump was less pronounced, probably due to the PE legs just gliding down on the contact leaves. When lube with 205G0, the Navy switch with the pump stem got smoother, and the sound of the switch um, lowered in pitch, at the cost at some tactility. With the PE stems, I recommend not lubing them with 205G0 because they lost most of their tactile feeling. I also lubed a navy switch with the PE stems with 3203 and that did help retain the tactility but I didn't find the switch to be that much smoother. As such, if you're looking to buy the navy switches and the palm stems, I recommend lubing the spring when you open up the switch but I don't think you need to lube the stem or the housing because the PE stem causes the switch to feel pretty darn smooth. I want to talk about the downside of the PE stems. First, the stem cross is a bit bent to the left, as you can see here. It didn't really affect my tapping experience, but some of the PE stems may cause your keycaps to sit crooked on your keyboard. Looking at just the alpha characters here, the letter U is a bit rotated to the left. Since the PE stem pack comes with 140 pieces, that leaves some extras for you to replace the bad stems with. Another downside with the PE stems is that the pinging noise from the springs are much more noticeable, probably due to the softer sound with the PE stems versus the palm stem. But the pinging from the spring mostly disappeared when lubed. Finally, since the PE stems shrink a lot more, they cause more stem wobble. As I move my tweezers here, you can see that the palm stem on the left don't move around as much as the PE stem on the right. This is a comparison of the wobble with cherry keycaps. The G key has the palm stem, and the H key has the PE stem. Lastly, here's an example with SA keycaps, which is probably the worst case scenario due to the high profile. Again, the palm stem is the G key, PE stem on the H key. Let's go back to the goal of the switch which was to create an affordable and good stock tactile switch. Let's say by stock, we mean not combining parts from two or more switches together to create one switch. At 65 cents per switch, they're only a little bit more expensive than T1s at 55 cents a switch. I like the stock sound of the Navy switches a lot more than the T1s. In terms of the tactile feeling, that's going to depend whether or not you prefer the more rounded tactile bump of the Navy switches slash MX clears or the sharper tactile feeling of a T1 slash Holy Panda. I would lube the Navy switch with the palm stem with 3203 and definitely lube the springs to get rid of the pinging. Personally, I'm not a fan of the PE stems. They do make the switch feel incredibly smooth and I would argue that you don't even need to lube the switch but definitely still lube the spring. However, it gets rid of too much of the, of the tactile feeling for me. It starts to feel kind of like a Gideon Brown, which can be good if that's a tactile feeling that you prefer, but I like a more sharper tactile feeling. There's also a lot of downside with the PE stems, and the upside of a smoother and softer tactile experience does not outweigh the bad for me. One thing I do like about the PE stems is that they are shorter, giving you a little bit more of a travel distance. It costs about 21 cents per PE stems, which brings up the cost of a navy switch to about 86 cents a switch, which starts to get pretty pricey. Overall, I don't think the navy switch is for me. While I do prefer linear switches, when I use tactile switches, I prefer a stronger tactile bum, so I much prefer my modded T1s or Holy Pandas. But if you like the rounder tactile bump of MX Clears, you'll like the navies. These switches will be available on Canon Keys for the US, Desk Keys for Canada, and Keyboard Treehouse for Oceania. That's all for me today. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in some mechanical keyboard guides, either for you or for a friend, check out the links above. Please like the video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to stay updated on my future content. Until next time.